The question I get asked quite often is, what kind of sights do I think are better for a concealed carry gun? Night sights or fiber optic sights? So I thought I'd take a moment tonight and answer that question. Now remember, this is just gonna be my opinion. This is what I think about the two different types of sights. Uh, if you disagree with me, that's great. You have a different opinion. If you get really butt hurt over my opinion, well, you know, let us know. We'll take up a collection and try to get you laid because this is really not that serious of a topic to get upset about. And plus, it's just an opinion. So that being said, let's get on with it. Now, both types of sites have their distinct advantages and have their disadvantages. So let's go over those advantages and disadvantages. And let's start with night sights. Now, night sights, like I have on my Beretta PX4 Storm here, are better at night. That's why they call them night sights. They light up nice and bright. During the daytime, they're not as easy to acquire as some other sights. Uh, now, these sights are the best example of night sights that I have on any of my guns because they have nice, crisp, white lines around the tritium inserts. If you're gonna get tritium night sights for your carry pistol, make sure you get the ones with the little white circles around them like that because it does make them easier to see in the daytime. Now, don't get the ones with the big white circles, those big excess dot sights or whatever they're called, uh, unless you're really used to them because I have found that, especially on short barrel guns, they make a big difference in point of aim. They make me shoot off by about four inches at close range, and sometimes even more. And you don't wanna be doing that with your uh, concealed carry gun. So make sure you understand that that big white dot on that front sight does have its disadvantages and I'm not the only one that's had this problem. I've seen tons of people have the problem that on short barreled guns that big white dot really throws off the point of aim of the gun. Now these night sights are an example of what I would not want on my carry gun in the daytime. There's no real visible white ring around the tritium inserts so it makes them real hard to see in the daytime. It's just like having black target sights. I would not recommend these for a carry gun. Now, as far as daytime carry goes, fiber optic sights are awesome. I mean, they really light up like torches. That little green dot just lights up like daylight there. It's like a little beacon. It would almost be impossible to not get a good sight picture with these. It'd be hard to not find your front sight. So in daylight, these things are awesome. Now, I do prefer the green ones like you just saw to the red ones here, because the red ones to me don't light up as well. And as you can see there, it's still pretty easy to see, but not as easy to see as the green. Now, maybe I'm color deficient, but I believe most people would have an easier time picking up the green over the red. But the red does look cool on the gun. But you know, it's not about what looks cool on the gun. It's about what works best. And I think the green works far better than the red does. Now, if you can't tell, for me, it's kind of a toss-up. I like both, especially if you get a good quality model of both. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. Now, I would probably gear it to my specific circumstances. If I had a night job, I slept all day, and every time I stepped outside, it was dusk or darker, I'd go with night sights. I'm going to get the best advantage out of those at night. If I'm the kind of guy that's in bed by 9 p.m. every night, and I don't step back outside till dawn the next morning, I'd go with the fiber optic. It's going to give me the best use during the daytime hours when I'm going to be outside. So when it comes down to it, I say, make the decision based on your lifestyle. What type of sight is going to serve you better? Just be aware of the strengths and weaknesses of both types of sight. Or an even better option than either one of those, if you're lucky enough to have one of the few guns they fit, get the True Glow Bright Sight TFOs. They're a combination of tritium inserts with fiber optic rods. And in the daytime, they light up bright like fiber optics, and at night, they light up bright like fiber optics lit by tritium. So they are the best of both worlds. I have them here on my M&P. And I have them here on my Glock 23. So if they ever make any more of these that fit different guns, I'll buy them for those guns too. Because these really are the best of both worlds. So like I say, if you can only have one or the other, base it on your circumstances. Which ones you think is going to serve you best. But if you've got a gun that they fit, get these. Because like I say, these are the best of both worlds.